guys, we're back, and it's time for uh, episode 13. Lucky 13, or perhaps unlucky 13 to some, I don't know. I think it's bad luck to be superstitious. That's a, that's a very terrible joke, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, gosh. I, I know I'm not funny, don't worry. You don't have to laugh. Don't encourage me. Um, okay, guys, so I did a lot of um, off-camera building, because what I wanted to do this episode was originally just do a lot of um, general improvements, and... Uh, I, I basically started, I'm just going to pause this, um, I started over <clears throat> at the uh, Porter Washington Parkway, and what I ended up doing over here was fixing this spot, but like, it really, honest to God, took me like almost 20 minutes, like it was absolutely mind-blowing how difficult it actually was. So what I ended up having to do, you can see this is a very non, like, you know, this is not like my general theme, right? I had to get these guys, like honestly, as close as possible because this road segment underneath, it was giving me such a headache. And if I were to delete it, I'd have to replace like every single bus line because it would change that. So it was just like, oh my gosh. So I, I figured I'd, I'd make a little cut in the episode. And then, um, yeah, then I saw some other improvements and just thought I'd just, you know, put them all in. And then, then I'd show you uh, afterwards what I ended up doing. And then that way we can kind of focus a, a little bit more of the episode on uh, building and, and whatnot. So. All right, so first things first, my thoughts were when we do fill this area up, if you are going to cross this bridge, like, how are you going to get to work, you know? Like, there's no, like, if you're getting on the parkway here, you're just going basically that way. So, yes, you can come in, go over this bridge, and then hop on this way. Or, most likely, you're going to follow this road um, the whole way up. You can see traffic's not too bad on here. What I was noticing is that there was a lot of people, they were just kind of turning right, and then this little area was getting a little bit backed up. So what I did is I put in another avenue just to connect this way, and that just serves as um, just an alternative. So now people coming up here, they can go left or right, and then you know still get to the same end goal. And this is a one-way street, so again, it takes you a little bit faster in. And what I did is because um, our six lane I can just go over here. So if you're coming from this side, you're going to hit the sixth lane, most likely. You could possibly get on the parkway and take that little bit up here. Um, otherwise, or uh, most likely otherwise, sorry, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Uh, you're probably going to take the sixth lane road up, and you can kind of see that's just the only way up through this whole area. So traffic is starting to get a little bit heavy. So to be preemptive, what I did is I took out all of the industrial buildings just on the inside, here, let's click on my my zoning over here. You can see now there's no, just in terms of the inside here, all of this I took out. And I did that as well, uh, just in terms of buildings right here. I replaced it with some trees so it looks nicer. And then same idea, all the buildings here taken out. Same with on that side. And that way, you know, trucks and everything don't have to stop as frequently just to refill these areas. And what I did is I just zoned on the outsides of these streets and I put some new buildings in over here just to kind of, you know, make up for the fact that we took out some buildings. And then what I did is I put a roundabout just on this side. And instead of having this double street connect in as well, I moved this over. So you can kind of see how it affected the bus route. So I actually had to draw those right back in. So luckily enough, the uh, green one, for some bizarre reason, just kind of kept its uh, original position, which is fine. So I actually did not redraw that. But the pink one and everything I had to do, so it's a little bit of a different path. Same with the purple one, a little bit of a different path, but it's kind of cool. Just sneaks around in here, uses both roundabouts. I just feel like with this uh, build, it, it uh, just kind of gets a little bit more people onto the bus. And just in terms of people coming up the six lane, it does move them around a little bit faster. And I have taken out one intersection, so it, again, it's a little bit more, just that north-south corridor is a bit faster. So let me just put this on three speed so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about here. So traffic, I mean, it's heavy, but it's not overly backed up. So I'm not, I'm not worried that much. I think, though, going forward, especially when we get the island, and this is going to be very ambitious, but what I would like to do is have another highway maybe run up the river as well, just next to this train bridge. <clears throat> That would be just, like, the coolest thing ever. So you can see what I'm talking about from ahead, or overhead. There's not really much backup. You can see there's a little bit here on the parkway just from that, that set of lights. 
Yeah, actually, that's not that's not good. So you know what we may have to do? We may have to maybe uh, make the exit. Because there's a lot of intersections right here, right? Maybe we can make the exit over here and then just not have an on-ramp right there or maybe move that a little bit a little bit further down. Yeah, you know what we could do? Just out of curiosity, maybe we can try this. Maybe that'll do a little something, I don't know. But yeah, we'll, we'll come back and address that. But yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You can kind of see just traffic, it's building, there's a lot of flow over here, but it just, it's it moves quickly, so we'll keep an eye on it. In terms of traffic, it does say it is heavy. I know some of you might be going like, holy heck, but it's, it's really, it's not as bad as you think. So we'll keep an eye on the area, but once we get, you know, to a much higher population, there's no way that this will be able to support it. So that's why I'm already thinking of maybe a highway or something that'll run, you know, just basically around this area. All right, so now what else have I done? I'm trying to think here. Oh yes, of course, I made drastic improvements to the uh, rail. Holy smokes! Okay, so what I ended up doing, you can see passenger trains now coming in. I made a little side um, corridor right here, so it looks kind of cool. And then the passenger trains will basically bypass any lineups at the cargo station here. Kind of see that's working exactly as intended. And they now will use this bridge, because I wasn't actually getting any cargo traffic. Oh, there's some trains, speaking of which. So I wasn't getting too much cargo traffic, let me put it that way. Oh, I guess they are coming this way now. But yeah, what I've, what I've done is you can see I've broken this off so it connects. And I haven't created any new lines. So the trains are just going to come from the, um, from the region and just really hit any station that, that people want. But I did have a suggestion um, to put a... Uh, a new train line in that serves just the um, forestry uh, area and that was from uh, Cameron Hudson and I thought it was a really cool idea so let me put that in and I'll show you guys what uh, he has suggested oh, and you can see I've made another turn here and connected it just so that there's now a complete loop so the passenger trains can come in and they can come out and so far traffic on the rails is not crazy so I'm very happy with the way this is starting to uh, shape up Oh, and before I put in Cameron's suggestion, look what I changed for you guys. This was the best I could get it, though. I did try to sneak right through here, but I, I, I made a huge change. So we're coming out this way, under here now. It's a little bit squiggly in the uh, tracks. That was a bit difficult to get. But now we come up and over. And that looks just kind of, I think, a lot nicer than the way we had it before. I actually had quite a few of you who suggested uh, doing this. And you weren't overly happy with the, um, the other one, though it was functional. Here I'm waiting for a train to come and we got none in sight. Story of my life, there we go. And of course I move and two come right away. <laughs> oh goodness, okay, so let me just uh, pause this again. Uh, I just don't really want to run the speed up because you can see we've got still some, some problems, right? And we have so much money that it's, it's awesome. <laughs> and I've also added another arm to the highway right here. Like this zone, subject to change as always, you know, I've been saying that since the beginning. But what I'm thinking with this area is I would like to do some office tower development in this area, this open spot right here. And then I would like to fill this in with some high density residential and a little bit of high density on the other side of the highway as well. And then it'll kind of just naturally, I don't say naturally, but you know, organically kind of turn into suburbs and then the density will scale down. And then the city, not the city, but you know, like this little part of the city the boundary will kind of be where we are right now. And this industrial part right here, this will be the seaport. Um, this will be the edge of the city as well. And then definitely going forward, we're going to capture this island. Though I think the first um, city tile, well, not the first, but the next one we're going to get is just this one right here. So we can um, basically tackle this seaport. And I would like to do that small town, maybe right on the coast over here. And then we'll connect that a nice little, nice little fun way. And yeah, then we'll get the island, make this all high density. And I was thinking if we did get um, both of these tiles, we're going to be able to go, I think, to at least here. We can get that part. So maybe we can put an airport right over here. And I've downloaded some stuff for that, so it should be pretty cool. And last thing I'll say before I get to Cameron's suggestion, and I'm, I'm very all over the place, as always, uh, we will 1,000% be putting a university up here, guys. Like, that is such an awesome suggestion. 
and we're going to go with that old campus kind of feel. So it's going to be nice and spread out. I'm going to see if I can download some more assets, maybe get some dormitories or something. And uh, I did get an observatory for us as well. So I'll put that up there too. And we'll kind of make a nice little windy road. And uh, yeah, we'll kind of stretch this out, get a little bit more of a suburb kind of feel. Make this little circular point right here, this intersection, a bit more high density. Or I guess kind of off the um, six lane, that'll be a little bit higher density. And then, yep, we'll definitely be bringing in some public transport. So we'll do metro lines for like the subway, again, across kind of the six lane. We'll make a smaller bus stop or, or bus kind of transportation zone here. And then we'll uh, put in some bus lines and then probably connect it over to here as well. And if possible, I also want to bring in a, a couple train stations. So a lot of um, a lot of ambitious ideas for this part. So we've definitely got, uh, you know, Lots of, uh, lots of things to do here. So many, many episodes. Oh my goodness, I love it. You guys are keeping me busy all summer. And we haven't even started the summer yet. Alright, so first things first with this, finally. Cameron's suggestion. Okay, so I need trains. And this one, just forestry. And so we'll start here. We'll hit over here. And we're just going to hit the passenger spots and then we're just going to loop this back now and his suggestion was to also make it a nice dark green color kind of support that forestry motif all right now hopefully i can click on the line that i want excellence and let's get that nice dark kind of green oh that's nice very nice and we'll just keep our eyes peeled for that so i'll put this on one speed see if we can Spot some of those trains making an appearance. Oh, and for all you uh, tree maniacs like me, I've, I've finished filling in a few of these areas and the roundabouts and and all in here. Uh, this used to be where the incinerator was, but I moved it because it was creating some pollution for the area. So that just got moved over to right here, I believe. Cool. There we go. A nice dark green forest kind of themed train right there. Fantastic. Great suggestion, Cameron. Thank you very much. And guys, I think for next episode or the one after that, I th that's when we'll go like crazy with naming all the districts and I think I'm going to add in some new parks and whatnot because I've, I've now got like just so many suggestions for, for everything. So, Oh, and actually, you know what my favorite one so far? And I'm, I have to look it up. I have to see who, who suggested this because it was so funny. I'm definitely going to give you credit. Just give me one second. Let me go through my little notepad here. Um, oh, gosh. Where are you? Um, oh, I can't. Yes, there it is. Chad Olson. That's who it is. All right. Thank you, Chad. Instead of being the Chester District, we're now the Chester Fields. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's way too funny, right? Chester Fields. And we'll just call it District as well. I like that. Okay. So, yeah, the other ones we'll, we'll put in next episode. I just had to do that one really quickly. Okay, guys, so what we need to do right now is get our population up to 28,000 because, uh, like I said, I do want to buy this tile and then put it in a seaport, but unfortunately, we have not unlocked that just yet. So that comes to 28,000, and when we do, we also get a new city tile, so we can buy the first of the islands, which will be really cool. Yeah, you can kind of see this traffic. I mean, it's starting to... I don't know. I keep staring at it, you know? Like, I... I my final conclusion, honestly, is that it's starting to build, but it's not too bad. So, I might pause and look at it a few more times, but... Oh, holy heck, what is going on right here? This is what happens when you bring in the passenger trains from the region. They decide to crash the party. Luckily, though, um, you can kind of see the um, regional... Uh, not the regional train. The inner city train that we had, um, it's... Uh, basically despawned and, and went back to its, its original source. So over time, that'll basically remedy... Oh, you can see what's happening is those guys are going... Mm-hmm, that makes sense. Now, unfortunately, I can't really do anything to prevent this. The only thing I could do is just disconnect the trains from the region again, but I think it's okay for the moment. All right, so let's do a little bit more building over here. I'll just uh, pause the game. And I hope you guys don't mind that I'm all over the place. Holy smokes, I used to have such a, you know, a format down, and I'd be like, this is what we're doing, and then it'd be like, checklist, not really a checklist, but, you know, that would be the plan. 
So let's just do a little bit more building here, and then maybe we can start on, on that spot over there. But as you can see, guys, as, as the city grows, there's, you know, just so much opportunity, and it's, it's kind of hard to just keep my thoughts grounded to only one specific location or, or problem. All right, so let's break off a little bit upwards in terms of elevation. Because the goal is just to have a nice, winding, gentle, kind of sloping road up the hill. And then to have some kind of crescent streets just lining, lining this guy. Because we're going to be limited to how far out we can go with these streets, just because of the, um, the slope. Uh, it's not too bad. That's a little extreme, but I think it's alright. And I think as a bonus, we're going to get a lot of smaller houses up here. And traffic shouldn't be too bad. That's why I'm zoning off the uh, four-lane four avenue as well. And <clears throat> let's see if we can do something just on the bottom part right here. Oh, I wonder if these will connect. Um, I don't really like that. But what if we go at a slope, I wonder? Or maybe those two are just not meant to speak with one another. Yeah, you know, we'll just keep them... We'll keep them at the different elevations. Because even that looks a little... Yeah, I don't really want to change that too much. Alright, so oh, a park is right there. Can't do that. Alright, now since we have a little bit of high density in this area, I'm just going to sneak another four lane through, and maybe we can make this go like that. Kind of come down the hill a bit. There we are. I think that can be a bit nicer, but let's see how it kind of changes if we connect this guy in. Yeah, that's a, that's all right. Um, no, you know what? I take that back. I think we can make this a little bit nicer. I think the key is to go over, and then we can pass the road that way underneath it. And then now we'll just drop this down. Oh, but you know what, though? This should be a four-way. Like that. Coming out. And then now we can do a little bit more high-density zoning, and we don't have to worry about traffic getting too, too backed up. And maybe we could go on an angle like this. That way the intersections don't have to be so close to one another. Okay, so let's bring this up. Let's bring it up like that, and then let's just close that off like that. Now how does that look? That's not the worst, even though it's not necessarily the straightest of, of roads. But I do like the fact that it doesn't just go straight in get rid of that a little bit. I know that's very extreme right now, but that's not permanent. And alright. Bring down that height. Oh, after all that, are you kidding? We can't even go through? Okay, good. I was like, what was the point? Now, is that a little bit too low? I don't know. Oh, there's room. All right, now, unfortunately, we're just right at the edge of the city right, tiles right here. Okay, we can do that again. That's a little bit of an extreme turn, like this going, making the right, or right there, but I've seen worse. Now, unfortunately, this is going to make an, a traffic light, unless we do... 
I'm pushing my luck here. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, hello. Perhaps, yes. I think unless we do a one-way. No, but even still, because it's, it's the median roads are going to create that. Okay, so that's just a little bit more action to this neighborhood right here. Because I don't think I want to put an intersection. I think, if anything, I might put kind of like another one of these little bridge ideas in. You see, I can't really get the the angle just right. So if we go like this, and then raise that up. Oh boy, I don't think I went close enough. Or I think I went too close, I mean. I can kind of say it's a little bit tricky to build these types of neighborhoods. Simply because, you know, the slope, you can kind of see, is not really cooperative. It forces other roads a little bit high. It just means you got to be a little bit more creative when you're trying to make your neighborhoods. Oh, cool, we can make that come right over the graveyard. Oh, that's awesome. I don't know why, these little things, they always seem to impress me so much. All right, let's drop this down, because we're actually a little bit too high to come right in here. There, that's a nice little fun back road. I think once we get some taller buildings in here, it'll look kind of neat as well. Um, a lot of you, you say I'm very busy with my streets, and that's very true, and I don't mean to be. I just suddenly just get very creative, I guess is the best way to put it. But I, yeah, I've, I've been doing that since like the SimCity days. So it's just, just my style. When I do build that small town, though, I think we're going to kind of have a minimalist attitude towards that. The whole less is more. Okay, now, I would like some high density, please. And maybe we can just mix those in like this. And then we'll switch back to or lower density, just like that. And then we'll just put in some some trees over there. And we can always sneak this like such. And so we can probably f make that a little bit nicer. Yes, we can. Well, that is just great. I am really liking this. And if possible, I don't see why it wouldn't be. Well, how about that? I like that even more. Cool stuff. And again, just need a little bit more high density over here. Only because these roads can support it. I'm not going to zone on the one by ones right here. And we'll put in some more commercial but we're going to be cautious about the radius for, for noise so maybe we can just squash some of that noise with just a few office buildings right here and then we'll just go back to some high density residential right over here oh yeah right I'm not going to touch those guys. Unless we put in little houses like that. There. Alright, so let's bring in some pipes and we'll see how much closer this gets us to um, that 28,000 population milestone. Oh, almost got you. Oh, and Brett, don't worry, I'll put in your Pokemon Center. I'll do that for you next <laughs> next episode or the one after that. Um, I haven't forgotten about that, don't worry. Okay, so let me three-speed this, and let's see how the services are, are doing. Oh, you know what, actually? I think we need another power plant. All right, so let's pause this, just so we don't...
create a little bit of a electricity headache. And maybe we can put that over here just for, I don't know, I don't want too much traffic over there. Is that a very peculiar spot? I don't know. I think that's kind of cool. Whoa, huge difference. All right. And we're still making pretty decent uh, money here on the monthly basis, or the weekly basis, so. Man, there's so many trains that are coming in from this region. Holy moly. And it's not the cargo that's the issue. You can see it's the passenger trains. They're just so eager to get into our city. <laughs> Look at all these backups. But luckily they will, yeah, they'll despawn and they'll, they'll fix themselves. It just takes a little bit of time, but let's not focus on those. And I am sneaking to peek at traffic again, even though I said I wasn't going to worry. Because as the population creeps up, you know, there's just, just all those more new drivers, right? Because this area, we haven't made um, public transport, so there's just no options. You have to drive, right? You can see all these people. They've got to go somewhere. Oh, interesting. We have a big demand for commercial. I hope that this will be enough to satisfy, but I guess it won't be. You know what, let's put a little bit of low density over here. So this part can do some shopping as well. I don't know if this is enough right here. And then maybe somewhere over here we can put one commercial tower in. Just to get, I know it's gonna be a little bit noisy, but. Oh gosh, my computer. What in the heck? So yeah, guys, just to address my, my computer issues. So what's really happening is it's not necessarily my computer that's, that's the problem. It's the fact that I, um, I only have an AMD 8 core. And for when I'm recording and playing, it's not really the best combination. So the larger the city gets, the bigger my like movie files become when I'm recording. And so it sometimes becomes a little bit too much for my computer just to process all at once. So a friend of mine, he's graciously offered me um, his i7 processor. So I've just got to go over and pick it up, hopefully this weekend. And I'm going to set out to build a new computer. So I'll, I'll keep you guys posted on that. But I'm basically, I've got all the guts and everything. Um, like I, I have right now, it's um, uh, an NVIDIA a 760, the 2 gig card. And I've got uh, 16 gigs of RAM and a terabyte hard drive. So I'm going to get another hard drive, hopefully another terabyte. And then, yeah, just swatch, uh, swap over to a new motherboard and, um, and the i7. So that should hopefully fix these problems. Because it is a little bit frustrating to have to, you know, keep, keep pausing and, and making these little save points and, and whatnot. So speaking of which, I'm going to do that right now. So give me two seconds, guys, and let my computer just uh, have a little bit of a breather. Because, um, yeah, like I said, I mean, the computer itself, when I'm playing on my own, I never run into these problems. It's just that as I record, because I only have, you know, so much space, the... The more full that hard drive gets, the, the harder it is for my computer to kind of keep the processing going. Anyhow, I'll see you guys in a second, but thanks for being so patient with this.